Hello, my curly girl. So I'm here to talk about and visit with you about moisturized hair versus soft hair. Now, I know for myself, um, it can get a bit confusing. Um, and these are the same questions that I would ask as well, you know, um, when I first started, you know, my hair journey. So I did a little research, you know, looked on a couple of sites that talked about moisturized hair and soft hair and what to look for in moisturized hair. And um, basically, um, you know, your hair can feel soft without being fully moisturized. And the reasons for that most of the time is that a lot of products have ingredients that are specifically to make your hair soft, but they don't absolutely they don't necessarily give moisture to the hair. Um, some of the products um, that are made to make the hair soft, basically they smooth the cuticle and help with frizz, um, and it gives the illusion of or the feeling of soft hair when actually. Um, uh, the product is just coating the hair and blocking out the moisture from, you know, your hair absorbing. So examples of, you know, those type of products and these is a, one or two examples are like glossers and anti-frizz serums or silicone products. And everybody knows silicone products unless they're water soluble. But even if they're water soluble, they still coat the hair and, you know, kind of blocks the moisture from getting to your hair. So if you use silicones all the time, you know, you may start to, you know, have little issues, you know, with your hair retaining moisture or you always happen to, you know, re-moisturize. And, you know, also what I wanted to, you know, talk about too with silicones while we're on the subject is that, you know, um, it's every, anybody's preference whether they want to use silicones. My preference is I'd rather not use silicones because I'm low porosity. And although silicones can help, but it's a temporary help. And, you know, it just causes more buildup. And my hair doesn't do well under buildup. Um, I use shampoo bars. I don't use regular shampoo because it strips the hair. It dries the hair out. And that's the one thing I'm trying to keep away from because my hair is naturally dry because I'm low porosity. So I don't want to do anything to it that's going to dry it out further. So um, for most of the people, a lot of people say they like silicones. Some people don't know if they're really using silicones. <laughs> And, you know, some people do know they're using silicones, but then they're having all these problems with their hair and wonder why their hair is not retaining moisture. And it, be, it may be because of the silicones. You know, you have to constantly, you know, wash that stuff out with a shampoo. And, it, and it's also, you know, creating buildup, you know, on your hair. So... You know, just, you know, do your research and when it comes to your regimen and, the you know, the products that you're putting on your hair and reading the ingredients and knowing the ingredients and, and what they do. What, Ryan? You mentioned. I'm sorry, my daughter came in to my room. Anywho, um, so yeah, just, you know... Um, I'm not knocking people that use silicones. Whatever you want to use on your hair is fine with me. You know, it's your head, not mine. I'm just giving the information. So, you know, that's that. But, um, so where was I with the silicone? So basically, those type of um, products like silicones, glosses, anti-frizz serums and things like that, they make your hair feel good. And they make your hair look good, but they block the moisture from your hair. Or they have the ability to block the moisture from your hair. Um, and that is why your hair may be soft, but not moisturized. 
you know, so I'm going to give you that I found um, some things to look for, you know, when your hair is moisturized and basically um, moisture, moisturization, um, your hair being moisturized because um, I'm, I'm reading, I'm sorry, but basically in my own words, moisture from my hair. When my hair, I know my hair is moisturized because my twists are plump. They're um, juicy looking. They they may look wet, but they are not, except for when they are wet. But when they dry to the touch, it's dry. It's not really wet and it's shiny. It has a shine to it and they look really good. I know when my hair is starting to dry out, as I said, I'm low porosity. So I know when my hair is starting to dry out because I will touch it and it will feel soft, but it's looking dull, you know, um, it doesn't really have a shine to it. Um, it is looking dry and um, it's starting to feel dry. It's not crunchy, but I can tell when my hair is like really moisturized and when it's starting to feel dry and your hair could be dry from a lot of things from you not drinking enough water from your environment where you live at you know the temperature the temperature outside in your house so it could be a number of things but for me I know when my hair is moisturized and when it's when it needs to be re-moisturized or when my hair is starting to dry out and you know I try to not I try for to not let my hair get to that point, you know, um, and I'll catch it. So what I do is I'll re-moisturize like every two days, you know, um, unless I use a product that's really, really moisturizing, like a good leave-in and moisturizer, um, I will need to re-moisturize like every two days and that's just my hair. Um, but as I said, moisturized hair may have a wet look to it, but when you touch it, it's really fully dry, but it's just really moisturized. Um, the moisture is locked within the hair strand and not on just the surface. Uh, moisturized hair does not make a crackling sound when it's touched like dry hair. And we all know we go like this to our hair, and I've heard it before when I... Um, when those days when I did not take care of my hair, and you know, you'll run a comb through it or you'll go like this and you hear something crunching or um, recently Sheena Dane. Um, if y'all don't know who she is, go check her out. Really sweet uh, young lady. Um, she has um, a TWA and she just um, went through an experience where she did not moisturize her hair. She just wet it and went. And she came back with a follow-up of her hair moisturized. And you can certainly tell the difference. <laughs> um, as well as I'm pretty sure when she touched it, feel, felt the difference. Um, so um, when moisturized hair does not make a crackling sound, it really doesn't make much of a sound like dry hair does. Um, as I said before, you know, I told you how my hair reacts when it's dry, when it's moisturized, what it looks like. But moisturized hair is soft to the touch. Uh, dry hair has a rough feeling, which it does. Um, also, moisturized hair is flexible and strong. And also how I test my moisture. And I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all have read this. You know how to tell if you have too much moisture or enough moisture or too much protein or not enough protein. And basically when your hair is moisturized, you, you pull it and it snaps, it springs back. If you pull it and it doesn't spring back or it snaps, you need more moisture in your hair. That means you have too much protein in your hair, but if you if you touch it and it feels mushy, like wet cotton or something, that means you have too much moisture in your hair and you need more protein. Um, but make sure you don't overdo it on the protein because it may take a while to snap backwards. You have too much moisture. You just do a protein treatment and you should be back on track. 
when it comes to that. But um, moisturized hair, when you pull it out, it should spring back without snapping. Or when you pull it, it shouldn't snap. So um, that's what I think anyway. So basically, um, here are some a list of properties that you should look for for moisturized hair. And there's four of them. And one is uh, it's not wet to the touch. Two is no crackling or crunching. Three is soft to the touch with shine. And as I explained before, with my hair, that was one of the things I said was that my hair may look like it's wet, but it's not wet and it's shiny when I know my hair needs um, to be re-moisturized. It was it will still be soft, but it won't be it would be dull looking. Um, and that's how I could tell it starts to get dull looking. And even though it's soft, that means I'm losing you know, my moisture, my hair is starting to dry out. So I need to re-moisturize it by spraying, for me, spritzing water on my hair, then putting on a light moisturizer and sealing it with an oil or a butter. So the, the third property to look for is soft to the touch with shine, emphasize with shine. And four, flexible and strong. You know, you can stretch it out and it'll spring right back. Um, if you stretch it out and it just stays, that means you need to add more moisture to your hair. Or if you stretch, take a piece of shed hair and you stretch it out and it just breaks, you need more moisture in your hair. Um, so that is my moisturized hair, soft hair lesson. Um, I hope that you know, um, whoever's looking for, you know, what to look for in moisturized hair, you know, um, can get some tips from these. And you can also Google it as well, because that's what I did um, and just kind of jumped around. You know, some people are not as detailed and explaining. It can be a little confusing, but hopefully, you know, um, my ex explanation or, you know, trying to tell you was not that confusing <laughs> and you were able to follow. So, you know, thanks to all my subscribers, new, old, for rocking with me. Um, please like my videos and leave your comments in the box below. Peace. Bye, ladies.